Welcome to the Gorilla 5 video series. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to manage the top sheet. It is recommended that you watch lesson 24 before you watch this lesson. Lesson 24 goes over how to load a budget into Gorilla. I've already loaded a budget template into Gorilla called Telefilm Pro. Let's go into the budget by clicking the Go To button. This will take you to the top sheet of the budget. Now, a Gorilla budget is made up of four levels. The top sheet, or summary of your budget, that is what we are looking at now. The account level, which stores all your accounts. The detail level, which is where you enter amounts and rates. And the fourth level of the budget, which is an optional level, and that is where you can enter even more detail items or import an Excel spreadsheet with additional line items. You can always know where you are in the budget if you take a look at the navigation buttons on the blue toolbar. Whichever button is dimmed tells you where you are. Currently, we are on the top sheet. On the left, you will see the account number. Many studios have their own accounting system and use their own numbering system for budgets. If you are creating a budget for a studio, make sure you get their numbering system so you can meet their requirements. Many of Gorilla's studio templates already have the studio's accounts in the budgets. If you are not creating a budget for a studio, you can use any numbering system your accounting department desires. To automatically create your own accounting system, you might want to consider using Gorilla's Auto Budget Builder to start your budget. To learn how to use the Auto Budget Builder, see Lesson 26. To the right of the account number is the category. You can modify the name of a category by clicking in the Category field. On the far right side of the screen, you will see the total for the category which is a summation of all its accounts. This is a summary total. You cannot enter a number here. Let's take a look at some more functions on the top sheet. These are all rows. You can insert a new row by clicking in a row and then selecting the Insert Row button. This will create a blank row underneath the row that you selected. You can then enter a new account number and then a category description. To delete a row, click in the row that you want to delete and select the Delete Row button. If you attempt to delete a row that has accounts attached to it, you will receive a warning. Deleting a category with accounts attached will also delete all related accounts and detail line items for that category. The Note button allows you to enter a note for the category selected. You can print a notes report and attach it to your top sheet or to any budget report. You can also modify the color of a category here. This allows you to visually see or print your budget in colors for easy identification. Next, I'll show you how to move a row. Let's say you want to move a row up or down on the top sheet. Select the row. Now, you can select a row by either clicking on the row number. Notice that when you do, the cursor moves to the account number. This row is now selected. You can also select a row by simply clicking on any field in that row. Now that the row is selected, if you want to move this row down, select the Move Down button, and the entire row will move down. Similarly, you can select the Move Up button to move a row up. If you move a row between a production total, that row will not only move down to that total, but will also be part of that group. Let me now explain production totals. When you load a sample budget or template, that budget will have at least one or probably four production totals. A production total is a summary of all the categories above that total. I'm going to show this a little clearer on another budget with a whole bunch of production totals. So, for example, the first production total on this budget is pre-production. The amount on the right-hand side of the budget is the total sum of all the categories above it. As you can see, the total 98,700 is the sum of 83,700 and 15,000. The next production total on this budget is production. And the total here 135,700 is the total of rows 4 through 10 only. In organizing your budget in this way, 
it is simple to separate different sections of the budget and see their totals. You can insert a production total anywhere you want on your budget. There are a few ways to do this. For example, if you want a separate production total just for editing, you can create a total for that group and move all your categories that have to do with editing to that group. Let's do that right now. If I want the accounts 3000 and 3100 to be in the editing group, I can insert a production total right here between 3100 and 3200. To do this, select the row 3100. From the edit menu, select insert production total. A new production total has just been created and inserted between account 3100 and 3200. I can then rename the group to editing. Let's say we want to add another row in the editing group. If you want the new row to be inserted after account 3100, select row 3100 and then select the insert row button. Enter a new account number and a category description for that category. Next, notice that the account 4200, assistant editor, is still attached to the post-production group. Let's move it to the editing group. Select the 4200 account or row 26 and from the edit menu select move selected row. A new window will open showing the same categories for the current budget. Select a row where you want to move the 4200 account. The window will close and you will see that the account 4200 moved to the new desired location. Another way to manage production totals is to go to the setup menu and select manage production totals. Here you can see all your production totals and their totals. You can also change the color of an entire section by selecting the color button for the production total you want to change. You can also create new production totals here. Let's create one. Click on the green add button and create a new production total. The new production total will be created, however it is not active in the current budget. To make it active, select the active button. The new production total will be created at the end of the budget top sheet. Next, let's insert a row into this production group. Go to the production group and select it. If you select the insert row button, you will receive an error. This is because the insert row button attempts to insert a row after the selected row. So in order to insert a row here, instead go to the edit menu and select insert row above. This will create a row above the selected production group. You might want to create percentages or flat rates and insert them in your budget. Gorilla calls these additions contractual charges. To insert a contractual charge from the edit menu, select Insert Delete Contractual Charge. As mentioned earlier, you can create either a percentage or a flat fee as a contractual charge. By default, there are four contractual charges available to use for every budget. You can use one or all or none of these. Let's insert a completion bond contractual charge as a flat fee. Make sure the charge you want to use is selected. Adjust the charge type as either a percentage or a flat fee. For a flat fee, enter the numerical amount in the flat fee field. Now select the contingency charge and select the percentage for the charge type. Then enter, for example, 10 for 10%. If this checkbox is selected, contractual charges will appear at the bottom of the top sheet. To insert these charges onto the top sheet, select the insert button for that charge. When we return to the budget, notice that the percentages field is at the bottom. If you return to the contractual charges screen, notice that the text color for the contingency charge is highlighted in a different color. This indicates that this charge is active in the budget. If you want to insert a contractual charge in a particular production group, you want to highlight the row where you want to insert the charge before you come to the contractual charge screen. Let's do this. 
create a new charge here. I'm going to click New and create a new flat fee of 2000 to be placed in the production group. Make sure you also deselect the Insert at End of Budget checkbox. Go back to the top sheet. Select the row you want to insert the charge. Then go back to the Contractual Charge screen and select the Insert button for the charge you want to insert. Notice when you return to the top sheet, the new charge is inserted in that position. Lastly, I want to show you how to use the Find Replace command. If you want to change a particular text string throughout your budget, from the Edit menu, select Find Replace. In this example, I'm going to enter Talent in the Find field and Cast in the Replace field. Gorilla will find all instances of the field Talent and replace it with Cast. That wraps up this lesson. Have a great shoot.